I'm going to show you how to create um, an amazing 2024 calendar in Canva. So I'm going to show you two ways, the easiest way and the more time consuming way. So here in the search, just type in calendar Twenty twenty four, not twenty twenty three, but twenty twenty four. Okay, so you see they got all of these. So I'm gonna keep scrolling, and you, when you go um, take your mouse, make sure it have one through twelve. Like this one right here has one through fourteen, which it has all months on that calendar. Like this one only have two. So this one right here would be a very good one to use for the year twenty twenty four. Let's see how this one looks, cause it has every last month for that calendar calendar has got finished loading you don't want to keep as is what you can do is just click on them and change them you can just go ahead and change it to go to line style and just click on that like that you can even change the colors on it like you can change the grid color so let's change the grid color let's click on border click on that go to black and see it changed for you even if you don't want to change it to black you can always go and change it again so let's do like some pretty color let's do maybe we can do like a purple maybe so it's up to you but i'm gonna keep it black for the purpose of this video to keep that font you can always come over here and change it to another font so i changed it to a different font and i can also go and change the other ones here where it has notes at what you can do is take matter of fact i'm gonna just take this one and let's change it look going to do it like this like for the note section we can just take it i don't want that line right there in the middle so i'm just take it and just bring it down some make another copy let's put it like right here in the middle somewhat make another copy we we'll put that one over there make another copy and rotate this okay so we have it rotated make it as is as you see when you click on it to customize it to try to sell because you can't do that okay so now we have our two boxes for the to-do list and the notes just go through and do the same thing for each one which I say if we wanted to add like maybe some pretty flowers so probably want something like this to be on your calendar do something like that you can take the transparency down on it let me exit out of that take the transparency down on it like so to give it like a, some type of look and position it to the back and if you want to add another one somewhere else you can let's just flip this you even bring it up like that calendar month it's like somewhere else you can put it like close right there you can see here okay so I like that better so I can now take that flower so take that flower and just put it right here also even add a quote to it like let me zoom in so y'all can see like to each one of your um, calendars you can add like some type of phrase phrase like positive um phrase up here at the top like every day is a new beginning you can put something simple as that you don't have to do it but it's just something to have it to your liking for this and this one back over here if you don't want it so close but this would be your like your quote on your calendars if that would be something that you would want so yes this is how i will customize my pre-made calendar that was already in camera so it won't be as is and you can just go and do the same for the rest of those calendar months i want to show you how you can create your own calendar from scratch so to create a design i'm just going to do 11 by 8.5 so i can get to 11 by 8.5 oops okay so now we create it so this is the size that I want to make my calendar. Just go over here to my elements and I'm going to just type in because I've seen some elements that I wanted to use for this calendar. So that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to type in January. This is what just what I like to use. What I, well, what I like it in elements. So that's what I'm going to do. 
now you can go over here to elements again and we're going to go down here to grids and with grids let's scroll down like right here use this one okay so please pay close attention like right here i'm gonna click on i'm gonna click right here on the third row and on three dots i'm gonna just go and click on add column and of course you want like seven across and like five down so i'm gonna click on it again until i get seven so I have my seven across. Now I need to add like one more row going down. So I'm going to just click on that bottom row. And right here, I'm going to click on the three dots again. And just put in add row. Now we have all of our rows that we need. And you can do it whatever size that you would like. Up here to elements. You can either use this for that, um, for that top row. Like right here. But I don't want to do it that way. This square shape. And just drag it up like this stretch it out but like i said you can always go to your grids and add the one that already got this up there but that's not how i want to do it so i'm gonna just keep it like this and i'm gonna show you how you can change like the size of the lines and stuff in a minute but this i want black and i'm going to go to my line go to border weight and I'm gonna change it to black, of course, but I'm gonna change that color. Oh, I'm gonna remove that black color so it can only like show the outline of that shape. You don't want it the lines so thick like that. Just click on it. I always click at one of the on circles in the corner. So I clicked on that. Now I want to go over here to border. And you got like I said, you could change the color like this to whatever color you want it. So it's up to you how you want your calendar. Okay, now that I changed the color on it, I'm going to go over here to a border style. So border style, this is the border weight. So let me show you how it does when you move it up or down like that. Okay, so the bigger the number, the bigger the lines, the lower the numbers, the thinner the lines. Okay, so I click on that. So right here where it has total spacing, you can also, like the cell spacing, you can take it up or down. And, oh, did I click on, oh yes I did. So with the table spacing, you see as it how it does the lines like that. You can also do it like that, but I don't want mine like that. So I'm going to just take it back to zero. And there we have it. You want to go to your text and add the year, of course. It's 2024, and I'm going to just simply just put 24 like right here in the corner, if you would like. In my days across the week, I'm going to just type in Sunday. So we have Sunday right here. I have my Sunday right here. Now I'm going to just go ahead and make copies for each one. And I'm going to add them all the way across. Of course, it's not all of them not going to say Sunday. I'm going to change it to whatever day it needs to be. Monday. Okay, so we have all of our days in place. I think I'm going to just remove that. That block that I had up top and just delete it. It's January, somewhat bigger. So let's put that 24 back. Right here. You don't want that now to be added, you just keep it as it is. But another thing I want to do, I'm gonna go over here to my elements and use that square right there. And with these, I'm gonna place it inside of each box. And I'm going to show you a faster way to do it. So with this, I'm just going to click on a light gray. Or you can even, so let me make it bigger. If you don't want it like that, let's change it to, say, if you want it black. And you want it a way where people just can write or type in that box. You just change it to black. Go over here to a border style. Take that border style to, like, uh, two maybe. Then with the color, you could just take out the color. Like that, no color. And you can just do it like this, and I'm going to show you. Let me zoom in so y'all can see how it's going to look once you do it like that. So let's just bring it over here. And just make your box like that. Take that box and fill it in. You can fill it in with a gray like that. You can keep like that, or you can remove the border. So if you want to remove the border, just take the border weight and put it to zero. And then you have it like this.
this box, I'm going to just go ahead and take it and put it all across this top row. We're not going to do it the same for each one, but I'm going to show you something. Show you a faster way how you can get those boxes in. We have our seven boxes all the way across. So what I'm going to do is just click on each one and group them together. Take that grid and lock it in place so you can do it the way you need it to. Okay, so I have my grid locked in place. Now I'm going to take my mouse and hover over all of them. So now I have all my boxes in place and you can make your gray boxes a little bit smaller. Mine is somewhat big so you have enough space to put your numbers in. And with this, of course, you can add just add another quote. Stay focused. Comma, stay on track. And you can even put it like in the corner right here at the top if you would like or you could just take it and put it like all the way across however you would like it but yes this is how you will complete your own calendars for the year of 2024 so it's how you want to do it but i just wanted to show you how you could create i mean um, customize a pre-made one calendar and this one would be how you will create one from scratch so i hope you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe and Please share this video with all of your social media, with your family and your friends. I would truly appreciate it. So that's it for this video. God bless.